Kevin Smythe's weekly property tips. I'm Mark Madden, and joining us this week is Stephanie C, our residential and rural specialist. Thanks, Steph. Oh, win. Uh, here today, we're to want to talk about pest and building inspections. Um, first and foremost, what is it? Um, so quickly. So pest and building inspections. Um, basically, it's just a check over of the property. It's basically a health check of the property, I guess, yep. on its bones and structure. Yep. Um, conducted usually by one of our licensed professionals around town. Uh, they go through. They double check for termites, any obvious pest inspection or problems with that. Yep. Uh, structural integrity of the property. Making sure there's no major cracking, no major movement, leaks, leaks, yep. problems with showers, anything like that. Yep. Perfect. And before I go any further, I will put a group of companies below. Uh, no one yell at me, this is not a paid promotion. We do not promote these companies. Um, we're just there to help you. So I'll put their contact details there. You can contact them at your own uh, leisure and go forward. Um, now, whose responsibility is it to get it? I get it from a lot of people, probably first home buyers. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Is there a pest and building available? Do I have to do that? Um, normal run of the mill, obviously, is that it's up to the buyer. Yeah. Um, but we have had increasing that the owner starting to do it. Yeah, so depending on the style of property, particularly if there's a few little areas of concern that the owner may have or us yeah. going through, time, yeah. we may pick up and look at a certain spot and go, well, there's a crack there. Is it just cosmetic? Is it structural? Um, let's get that double checked before we go to market so we can have the reassurance to let purchasers know. Yeah. Um, and we can just pass it on there. Uh, also auctions, yeah, expressions of interest auctions, definitely. those types of properties where we get a lot of requests, yep. um, a lot of people want to report so rather than having everyone line up to go through and do it, it's easy to send it out. Yeah, yeah it's a good idea actually, a really good idea, especially if you're in an auction or if it's an older property or if you purchased it and you knew uh, you know, a crack down the side of the house, it's like an insurance I guess that you know what's wrong with it. I always say for a small amount of money and making yeah. sure you're not, you yeah. don't have that risk. Exactly right. And contact the companies for their different prices. They are, there are some different prices depending on how far they travel. Uh, not paid promotion. Uh, <laughs> thirdly, <laughs> what happens if there is an issue? Now, we're not talking a pest and building is going to show up everything, even small things, even on a new house, but we're talking major issues. What's a major issue? I guess it's a leaking shower, termites, uh, major cracking, I guess it's structural. Yeah. Um, Peas not touching. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So I guess in that situation, there's a few options. Yep. What would you suggest? Uh, so generally, if there's a major problem, yep. uh, we need to know as soon as possible. Really, it's more important for us to know straight away yep. so that we can work out the best course of action depending on how it is. Yep. Um, I guess one of the first things that we try and do is obviously discuss it with the vendor, discuss it with the purchaser, look at getting um, potential quotes for the uh, item to get prepared, yep. depending on what it is. If it is something that is extremely significant, that does almost to a point question the integrity of the property, it may be a case that we just have to basically stop yep. the sale and pause it or um, just take some time to look at the best options for that. Um, if it's something that's major but can be repaired quite simply, then obviously if we can um, I guess rectify that within reason. Yep. Um, it might be something that the vendor's happy to do, sometimes it's something the purchaser's happy to do, sometimes we can split it straight down the middle. It just depends on what it is. And yeah, exactly yeah. right. So basically, you have three options, I guess, if there's a major issue. One, we could see if the owner wants to fix it. Yep. Two, you might want to renegotiate, whether that's splitting it down the middle, taking some money off the agreed price that you've done. And three, if it's major and it's going to be you know, thousands and thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars, it might be, hey, this property's not for me and you need to look elsewhere. But the fact is, you paid seven, eight, nine hundred dollars for a report that saved you. Potentially, it could be three hundred, yeah. six hundred scenarios. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. So then that's what it's there for. So, as I said before, we'll put some info down below. Steph, thanks for joining us this week. No worries. Nice and short and sweet. If you've got any questions, I'll put Steph's details. Also, if you're on a rural property, uh, she's a lady to see. Yep. I think we also need to put a little disclaimer there that with pest and building reports too, yep. there is always going to be something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's always. They've got to find something. There's major issues and there's minor issues. Yep. Um, it could be a loose tile in the, on the roof. Yep. It could be gutter that's got a 
minor leak or a little bit of bubbling happening that could just need a little bit of touch up. Correct. Up. Brand new homes yep. to 100 year old homes, there's always going to be something. So. Yep. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, and also, obviously, you can call the inspector as well, which we forgot to mention. So they're very good to talk to. A number of them are like, you know, on paper, it looks worse probably than talking to someone. Everything so they'll have their, their number there. You can say, hey, I've highlighted, you know, section three, which is a roof tile. How bad was it? So really good little tip. Thanks for closing out on that. Right. Thanks, Steph, again. Um, we'll see you next week. Put some information below. Steph's details will be there as well if you've got questions. Uh, but thanks again for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you next week for the next weekly tip.